1. Which pruning technique is most appropriate to reduce the size of a tree while maintaining its natural form? A. Topping B. Heading back C. Drop crotch pruning D. Lion tailing 2. What is the primary reason for using mulch around trees? A. Improve photosynthesis B. Increase leaf transpiration C. Conserve soil moisture D. Prevent trunk growth 3. Which of the following is the most accurate way to measure tree diameter at breast height? A. Use a string and ruler at ground level. B. Measure circumference at 4.5 feet and divide by pi. C. Estimate based on canopy spread. D. Use a diameter tape around the root flare. 4. Girdling roots typically cause which type of damage? A. Increased shoot growth. B. Enhanced nutrient uptake. C. Reduced trunk stability and vascular flow. D. Faster wound closure. 5. When installing a new tree, how wide should the planting hole typically be compared to the root ball? A. Same width as root ball. B. Twice as wide. C. Three times as deep. D. One foot wider than root ball. 6. Which pest is most likely to attack stressed oak trees and contribute to oak wilt? A. Emerald ash borer. B. Gypsy moth. C. Sap beetles. D. Asian longhorned beetle. 7. A codominant stem with a tight V shaped union is considered structurally weak due to A. Included bark. B. Fast growth rate. C. Epicormic branching. D. Low leaf density. 8. What is the purpose of an ANSI Z133 standard in arboriculture? A. Soil analysis guidelines. B. Safety requirements for tree work. C. Fertilization recommendations. D. Tree species classification. 9. What best defines target and tree risk assessment? A. The defect in the tree. B. The species of tree. C. The object or person that could be struck. D. The height of the tree. 10. Which irrigation method is most efficient for newly planted trees in urban environments? A. Overhead sprinklers. B. Flood irrigation. C. Deep root watering. D. Spray misting. 11. Which nutrient is most associated with promoting root development in trees? A. Nitrogen. B. Phosphorus. C. Potassium. D. Calcium. 12. When is the best time to prune most deciduous trees for structure and health? A. Late fall. B. Midsummer. C. Early spring before bud break. D. During full leaf expansion. 13. Compacted soils negatively affect trees primarily by a. Reducing chlorophyll production. b. Lowering canopy size. c. Limiting oxygen to roots. d. Increasing leaf surface area. 14. What is the best method to manage tree wounds? a. Paint all wounds immediately. b. Use wound sealant and wrap. C. Allow natural compartmentalization. D. Cut flush with the trunk. 15. Which system transports sugars produced by leaves to other parts of the tree? A. Xylem. B. Cambium. C. Phloem. D. Cortex. 16. 
What term describes a tree's ability to limit the spread of decay through chemical and physical barriers? A. Mycorrhizal formation. B. Root grafting. C. Compartmentalization. D. Leaf abscission. 17. Which tree support system is used to limit branch movement and reduce failure risk in mature trees? A. Guying. B. Bracing. C. Staking. D. Topping. 18. What factor has the greatest influence on determining a tree's critical root zone? A. Height of the tree. B. Age of the tree. C. Diameter at breast height. D. Number of branches. 19. What is the most likely result of planting a tree too deeply? A. Faster growth. B. Increased drought resistance. C. Root suffocation and decay. D. Taller canopy. 20. When selecting a tree species for a planting site, what is the most important consideration? A. Leaf color. B. Bark texture. C. Site conditions. D. Speed of growth. 21. What is the recommended approach to managing a high-value tree infected with a manageable fungal pathogen? A. Remove immediately. B. Apply fungicide at random intervals. C. Prune infected branches and monitor. D. Perform deep root fertilization only. 22. Which of the following pruning cuts is typically used to shorten a branch while preserving lateral growth? A. Heading cut. B. Reduction cut. C. Flush cut. D. Stub cut. 23. Which soil property is most important for tree root growth? A. Color. B. Texture. C. Acidity. D. Moisture retention. 24. What does the presence of mushrooms at the base of a tree often indicate? A. High photosynthesis. B. Soil fertility. C. Root decay or internal rot. D. Recent rainfall. 25. Which arboricultural practice is most important to preserve trees during construction? A. Fertilize heavily before excavation. B. Remove lower limbs. C. Install tree protection zones. D. Cut roots to encourage new growth. ISA. The ISA Certified Arborist Exam is a comprehensive assessment designed to evaluate an individual's knowledge and skills in the field of arboriculture. Administered by the International Society of Arboriculture or ISA, the exam covers key areas such as tree biology, diagnosis and treatment, soil management, tree risk assessment, pruning, safe work practices, and urban forestry. Candidates must demonstrate a solid understanding of tree care practices and standards, including proper planting, maintenance, and protection techniques. The certification is intended for professionals with at least three years of full-time experience in arboriculture or a combination of education and practical experience. Passing the exam signifies a high level of expertise and a commitment to the professional practice of arboriculture. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the ISA exam. 1. Professional credibility. Passing the exam validates arboricultural knowledge, earning industry-recognized credentials that enhance trust among clients, employers, and peers. 2. Career advancement. Certification can open doors to promotions, higher pay, and specialized roles in municipalities, tree care companies, and consulting. 3. Improved knowledge and skills. Preparing for the exam deepens understanding of tree biology, pruning, diagnosis, and safety, leading to better job performance and reduced risk.
4. Marketability Certified arborists often gain a competitive edge in bidding for contracts or being hired by clients who value professional standards. 5. Networking opportunities Becoming certified connects individuals to a larger professional community through ISA chapters, conferences, and continuing education.